Okay, there we go. This is it guys, um, let's make another entry in the purchases and see how, let's add account, an account and account receivable. Let's go to purchases and choose account receivable. Make a credit of ten dollars. It can be account receivable. Let's pick cash for now. Maybe ten dollars. For store merchandise. And the vendor was same person save close go to account summary report now my dashboard tells me Let's take this. No color. And save. Finikin. Now I have it. I have ten dollars in my debit is right here and I have ten dollars in my account payable account which is also reported right here let's say I'm gonna add another debit let's record it in cash for another ten dollars It's going to be ten dollars right here. Let's 
save. Save. Close or let's open. Now our debit equals our credit some way, somehow. Have ten dollars here. Have ten dollars here, which is a twenty dollars, which is recorded right here. We have ten dollars here, which is over here. And we have ten dollars here as a credit for cash which is over here so let's make a quick calculation let's go back to this here and try and balance this equation see if it balances let's add our debit account and our credit account and let's bring a level I'll delete this one and bring this one, copy this and paste. I'll bring another one, delete this one, and bring one this one here. Now I'm gonna format this one. Go to data. Good control cells and now let's go back to our notes which of these are debits we have one two three they are all debits one two three debit one and two our credit so let's add the debit and we will add the credits too so debit first debit is equal to debit plus attendance Oh no. Cancel for now. Let's look at the the name for this text. Is the name is right here. Let's look out for the name for this box is text one forty. And this is one forty six. So let's look for the debit ones. Not that one. This one, one fifty four. And finally, this one, one sixty. David, let's go for the credit ones. It's one for I'm writing it down. Forty six. And 
168. So let's add this up and see how much. So let's go to the data and text 140 plus text 146 plus no text 154 plus tax 160 all right we got 30 let's see this more this too it's going to be tax 146 plus tax 168 Oh, I got 30, 30, so it means it has balance. Let's put this currency. So the equation has balance. Have total of credit of 30, and I have debit of 30 and total credit of 30 which is a balance account now let's play with it for a few minutes and see how so if I have five dollars here Let's see if it's going to be balanced. Save. Close or. Yes. Oh, now it's still balanced. Let's make one last entry. Fifty or let's make here forty five and make here five. Save close or see. Wow, we are still balanced. Thank you guys for watching, for making uh, purchases general and how to balance them as well. Thank you. Have a good day.